there was fast track in the execution of the clinical trials, and I think it's, it's very important to know what parts were far fast tracked and which parts were not. So the fast track part were regulatory approvals, funding, data analysis, and submission to the FDA. Those are all paperwork items. What was not fast tracked was enrollment of patients, um, clinical follow-up of these patients, capturing the events which occurred, and the follow-up. So these trials were executed very, very well. For the people who think that they've had COVID and they don't need the vaccine, for them, I would say that you would still want to get the vaccine because it's going to give you long-term protection. For the people who are young and healthy, who think that I'm not going to get severe COVID, I'm not going to die from it, from them, I want to, for them, I want to say they should get the vaccine, yes, to protect themselves because even young people can get severely ill, but more so for your community, for your friends, for your family, for your country. I, I would encourage every person to go out and seek your COVID-19 vaccine so that we can all go get back to our lives again. And those symptoms include things like being, having muscle aches, having chills, um, having a headache, feeling tired. These are symptoms that people are very likely to experience after these vaccines for up to two, sometimes up to five days at most. They're not harmful but they will be concerning to people if they're not expecting them. The COVID-19 vaccine is extremely safe for our children. We have a number of studies that uh, represent that. Uh, we've had a number of children already receive the vaccines and have been able to monitor those children closely. Um, and we feel very confident this is a safe and effective vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccine in a lot of ways is no different than our other vaccines we have available. It's administered in the same way, um, either in the arm or in the leg, depending on the age of the child. Um, the doses are appropriate for the age of the child as well. Um, there's no special follow-up that has to happen after receiving a COVID-19 vaccine. And our side effects are quite similar to other vaccines, including fever, muscle aches, um, but most likely pain, redness, and, and swelling at the injection site.